What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Gunfish TV. I want to thank you for tuning in to my channel today. I appreciate it very much. If you are not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and the notification bell. It helps my videos get out there. It helps you not miss any of my content uh, that I've been working hard to get out for y'all. So go ahead and hit it. I'm going to the old lake today, to the Roanoke Rapids Lake. Me and my buddy Ryan, we're going to go out there and try to catch some big bass, hopefully on top water, maybe on the frog, up over those hydrilla mats. I heard the water's down low, which is a good thing. That's exactly how I want it to be. So hopefully we get them. It's about 10 after 5. Just fished the Thursday afternoon tournament last night. Now I'm up the next morning going to the lake. We're going to see if we can catch them. Hopefully we get us a big one. Stay tuned. Also, I'm going to be giving away a pair of those Fish Monkey fishing gloves, like I said. Just comment down below. Just, just comment on this video and you'll be entered to win a pair of those Fish Monkey fishing gloves. And after you win, I'll get with you on whatever size or whatever. But just drop a comment down below. You have to be subscribed. Go ahead and do that for me and you'll be entered to win. I'm going to go ahead and pull this boat up to the lake. Let's see if we can catch them. See if we can catch a darn fish. There's the grass. That's what we were looking for right there. All right. I'm gonna start off with the frog. All right, so I'm throwing the black and yellow pad crasher. And Ryan is throwing a belly weighted swim bait. So we're gonna go along this weed edge and see if we can get us a big fish. Or five would be better. It blew up over there. That's the first one I've seen blow up. Uh oh, there we go. Ryan's in one. Perch. We got a dude. That is a huge raccoon perch. I mean, a monster. That is a doggone big one right there. That's a pretty good. I'm pretty sure that fish is over 12 inches. I mean, that. Damn fish that is a beautiful fish. Me That's as pretty as they come right there. Flipping. <laughs> nice well that's fish number one not exactly the species we're looking for but that's that is a beautiful raccoon perch is what i call them but yellow perch nice all right let's make a move go up the lake a little bit because we are not getting it done right now ryan missed a few fish a couple good ones but nothing in the boat so we gotta make a change all righty let's see so we came up the lake a little bit and we're up here in a really really shallow spot right now but we're going through a little cut through and we're going to come out into this bay where i caught those fish at last time on the buzz bait we're hoping to get on a little bit of a bite because it is nine o'clock we've been fishing now for over two hours and uh we haven't put a bass in the boat yet so we'd make a little bit of change and see if we could get on a little something 
Although Ryan did have a couple good bites. I haven't, but he has had a couple good bites, but we haven't got him in the boat, so unfortunately they don't count. That's a nice bass right there. Yeah. I still see him. Oh, where's my rod? Where's my rod? I ain't, I ain't gonna see him now, I guarantee. About a three pounder. Just saw about a three pounder swimming in front of me. You know, telling where it went. Bunch of brim down there. That's a lot better. That's one thing I will say about these buzz baits. The only way that you're gonna need to replace your bait is if one takes the damn foot off. Gosh, got blown up on, there he is. Come and get in the boat, baby. Get in the boat. That was the first, oh, he's got a big old sore on his head. Get in here. Look at that gash. I don't know what in the world happened there. Something gashed a mess out of him, out of his face. Look at that, it's almost like uh, somebody caught him or set the hook in him or something or he hit his face on a stick. I mean, that's pretty fresh. That ain't, that hadn't been there very long. I don't know what that is, but just caught him on the buzz bait. Hadn't picked that up long. So first fish in the boat, we've been fishing for about two hours and 40 minutes now. Thank you, bud. Yep. Got him on that buzz bait. I was gonna say, I don't know what my, my buzz bait was running kind of weird. The one on top of the water good, it's coming up now, but he liked it. He come up and bit it twice. All right, well, a little update on today. Pretty rough. It sucks, really bad. Um, very few bites. Nothing going on. Came up here to the dam, tried to mess with a rockfish, catch a spotted bass or something. Ain't happening. So we're gonna run back down the lake and get back at some grass and try to catch some fish. Brian did miss some fish earlier this morning down that way, a couple pretty good ones. So we're gonna go back, see if we can catch one, I don't know. But right now the fish are not biting at all. There was up people up here at the dam fishing with live shad. And I think we caught, saw a couple of fish caught, but that's it, so. A little on the tough side today. All right, we've came out here to the middle and we're hoping to salvage the day. It's still salvageable, but something's gotta happen. It ain't gonna get no worse. It ain't gonna get no worse. You got that right. Yeah, now if the boat sinks, it, it might be worse, but yeah, we're good to go. There he is. That's a good one too. What was he on? Swim bait? About time. I mean, it is gone. There you go. I mean, straight up choked that swim bait. Nice, that's a pretty one. It's probably three and a half. Heck yeah. Can't see you, buddy. All right, well, that's a good sign. We just made this move. Ryan just caught a nice fish on that swim bait. Good. I'm happy to see that because we have been struggling. So that's a nice fish there. So now we're up to two bass. And a perch. And a perch, getting things done. 
So Ryan just caught that fish at 1150. That is how long it's been. And we've been fishing hard and it just has not worked out for us. It wasn't that big, but it's a nice one. On the buzz bait. Got him like on the outside of the mouth. Get in here. That's a nice one. Chunk right there. Yeah, he ain't quite three, he ain't a bad one. He come up and busted that buzz bait. That's what you want. Right there, nice fish. Thank you, bud. We're finally getting into a little something now. A couple fish, yeah, a couple fish pretty quick. Thank you. All right. About time. God, that was a big, I was going to say, I saw him come up under. That is, dude, that just proves how fast they are. I saw that fish come up underneath of it and went down and he literally came out of freaking nowhere. That was cool. That was a cool bite right there. Yep. And it comes to a point right here. Yeah. Nice fish. That fish come up under it and went down and come back up. That was cool. Nice little fish. That'll be number four. He ain't no great bigging, but he is a keeper. Busted that buzz bait. Thank you, bud. I saw him come up, go down, and then he come back up and crushed it. Right there at the boat. That was a that was a good bite. Woo! I mean, he was close when he bit it, too. All right, so I just caught that fish at 1220. So we've caught three fish in the last 30 minutes, probably. So moving on up. And this buzz bait's a little aggravating throwing it through here. It's getting hung up a lot in this grass and all, but they're coming up and biting it, so I'm going to keep on throwing it. Oh. I mean, right there at the boat, dude. Blasted it. This one, another one in the buzz bait. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought they were starting to move it. He choked it too. All right. There we go. I mean, gone. Chill out, bud. That would be number five. He's over 14. He's a fat porker. Pretty fish. Got a little sore on the side right there, but nice. Come up on that buzz bait. He was right on the edge, right on the very front edge. I thought they were moving water. We're gonna go with the frog for a minute. Then I might change that horny toe back to all white. They might not like them chartreuse feet. Oh. 
Fox cast. Killed him too. Damn it. First cast with the frog. Mm. Get in here, chunk. Bring it in all the Sally in and everything. He choked it. Come here. Nice one. All right. Well, might throw the frog a little more. <laughs> First cast with that black and yellow dart frog. And I'll take it. The day has definitely turned around and gotten a little better. That's a nice fish right there. Fat one. Thank you, bud. Got some salad up here on the front deck. That was probably a fluke. Probably won't get another bite for five more hours of fishing it. Ever since they started filling the lake up, as soon as the water started moving, we started catching fish, but they have filled the lake up some now with more water and the biting has definitely slowed down. We're gonna fish a little bit longer, but we're not going we're not gonna fish forever. Maybe another 30 minutes or so. Might call it a day. Oh my god, it's a giant! Did you see him? That was a giant. Did he? Oh my. Dude, that was a legit giant. I mean, we're talking six, seven pounder. How about that fish? That was a doggone big one. Oh man. He took my feet. He just didn't get it good, I guess. I mean, he just, I mean, he didn't get the hook, obviously. I would have caught him, but. Oh, man. That whole fish came out of the water. That was crazy. All right, well, I guess we'll finish it out with the frog. Gonna fish about another 10 minutes. We are gonna call it. Today definitely turned out better than it could have been or where it looked like it was headed, but it could have been better. Yeah. Yeah. Just sucks those missed opportunities and missed bites could have really solidified things but the big fish that bit didn't they didn't bite it like they were supposed to they didn't eat it good so ain't nothing you can do about that and it's uh two o'clock right now so we've been here since before seven, won't it? Yeah, for sure. So, been here a while, but we did catch a few. I'm gonna make this the last cast with the old frog. Either it's gonna happen right now or it ain't. Oh God, just missed him. Yes, sir. Look at look at the blow up. Look at. Oh my. Yep, I just freaking missed him. All right, that's it. That is it. I get home, I gotta get all this stuff situated for tomorrow. All right, well, I'm not gonna lie. It was pretty doggone tough out there. We started fishing at like 6.30, 6.45, somewhere in there. I think I caught the first fish nine something. Didn't catch another bass all the way again until after 12. I think it, it was it was really tough and, and we fished really hard we did a lot of different things 
and it just was not happening but once they started moving that water the bite picked up we were up in that grass up mid lake and we caught some fish caught some pretty nice ones and man did we miss some really good fish just just didn't hook up on them that's all it is to it that's how it is sometimes that one that came up on my buzz bait was probably a six pounder the whole fish come completely out of the water great big bass but didn't get him so that's how it goes sometimes that is fishing but had a good day out there on the water with ryan we did catch some fish had some fun so that is all that really matters all right so the giveaway that i talked about earlier for a pair of fish monkey gloves like these right here all you have to do is be subscribed like this video and comment down below whatever you want just comment down below i'm gonna pick a winner you know sometime i don't know a week or two after this video is put up and somebody's gonna win a pair of fish monkey gloves so like i said i've been wearing them i like them i did not wear them in today's video because these blue ones are pretty bright on camera and i kind of decided that they were so bright that i wanted to get some gray ones so they wouldn't be just blaring on the screen while y'all watching my video so i ordered some gray ones last night uh for myself but anyway if you want to win a pair of those comment down below and you'll be entered in the giveaway i'm going fishing again tomorrow i'm not sure where i'm going maybe the chowan river no promises on that though but be sure to hit that subscribe button and i'll see you next time on gunfish tv